Tonight, another tragic twist in the already devastating deaths of hockey players, Johnny and his brother, Matthew Goodrow. Today, during their funerals, the wife of Johnny revealing she's nine weeks pregnant with their third child. The two brothers from southern New Jersey were hit and killed, police say, by a drunk driver while they were riding bikes last month, killed on the day before their sister's wedding. This whole thing is just beyond heartbreaking. Here's Sharifa Jackson from our sister station, WPVI. A heartbreaking image as the caskets of 31-year-old Johnny Gaudreau and his brother, 29-year-old Matthew Gaudreau, were both carried into the St. Mary Magdalene Catholic Church, standing close by their families, their wives, and Johnny's two small children. John and I had the best six months as a family of four. These will forever be the best six months of my life. We're actually a family of five. I'm in my ninth week of pregnancy with our third baby. Matthew's wife is also pregnant with the couple's first child. This last week has felt like I've been trapped in a nightmare I can't wake up from. I feel numb, angry, sad, blessed, all at once. Looking back at them in the packed church, close friends and countless members of the hockey community, including Johnny's teammates with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Today, players from all around the world lifting the family up through this show of support. Just can't imagine what they're going through. And again, just the amount of people that are here today. Johnny, a seven-time NHL All-Star, and Matthew, a hockey coach, were biking in Salem County, New Jersey, when they were hit from behind by a suspected drunk driver August 29th. They were both pronounced dead at the scene one day before their sister's wedding. The fact that you were both together now in heaven gives me a little bit of comfort, knowing you are, of course, together. I know John would not be able to live a day without his brother. In front of the church, a small memorial of hockey sticks and flowers. Two great kids. Johnny's father-in-law spoke of the brother's faith and kindness and says everyone can learn something from it. The world got to see what a great man he and Matthew are. And the only goal we have at this point is for everyone in the world to duplicate what those two fine men did. And Matthew's wife, Madeline, also sending a message during her eulogy, that message not to drink and drive. She says no family should have to go through this torture. In Media, Pennsylvania, Sharifa Jackson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.